I think that 2016 for Silicon Valley was a, a year where we've been forced to confront some unpleasant truths. And I look at this and go, it starts with the social companies because it's impossible to imagine the election turning out the way it did without the tools that Facebook and Twitter and Google gave to extremists to promote their points of view. And it was the year of Theranos, and it was, I was gonna say, you know, it was the year of Xenophits. And, you know, I look at that and I think to myself, the real problem was that it was the first year after smartphones. We didn't have that big monster product cycle driving everybody. What about and, Pokemon Go? Well, great thing for one company, right? And that's the point. We're back into what I would describe as one of those in-between times where there will be individually great stories, right? Snap presumably will get public early in the new year. Snap is a pretty amazing. I really admired the company because they had the courage not to take an offer early. They believed in their mission and they were right. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. But this is also the year where Uber is going to have to figure out how to make money or how to refinance itself because, you know, the expectations that got it to the $69 billion valuation have not come through in terms of the P&L. And so I think it's going to be a year of individual stocks, Kayla, and we'll have to just watch. Does it feel like the very big established companies actually have reestablished themselves as leaders in the areas we're all watching, whether it's AI, virtual reality, even, you know, autonomous driving cars? I mean, you, you hear about all that's yeah. going on inside of a Google and elsewhere. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to turn out because I think this is going to be, you know, not the year of AI and not the year of driverless cars. It'll be another year of waiting for AI and waiting for driverless cars. Well, a lot's been happening on those fronts, though. I mean, oh, of course there is, but not in the way that you can invest in successfully. You can invest in the dream. You can invest in the sales pitch, but the fundamentals aren't there yet. And what we've learned in Silicon Valley is these things always take longer to start than you think. And then once they start, they happen much faster than you think. We just, I don't think any of those big things kick in in 2017, but I would love to be proven wrong. So we'll have you back in 2020 to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Roger, happy new it's year. It's great to see you all. Take Always care. We'll see, see, see you next you. week. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.